Yo, what's up guys, Prince Charming. We are checking out the Auto One Out Subway Part 3 today. So I've already seen the Part 1 and the Part 2 of these videos. So make sure you check it out. Like, they're going to be in my Auto One Out playlist. So make sure you check them out. They're pretty easy to find and it's pretty lit. So make sure you watch it. So Part 3 of the Subway Journey. I, I am actually craving a sandwich right now. Wow. Advertising, well, there's not even an ad, but advertising or marketing really works. I'm craving a Subway sandwich now. So let's see what James gets himself into in this episode of Subway Part 3. What shenanigans happens at his work, you know, working at Subway. I wonder what that is. <laughs> Don't forget to hit me with a like on this video. Subscribe and turn your post notifications on so you never miss a post. Comment your favorite kind of sandwich. I have been a fan, and I, when I mean sandwich, I mean lunch meat. I have been a fan of roast beef. Like, if I have to get any kind of lunch, lunch meat uh, sandwich, it'll be roast beef. With some mayo, lettuce, no tomatoes, no pickles, none of that nonsense. But enough of me talking, let's go ahead and check out the All One Out Subway Part 3. Hope you guys enjoy the video. You want to know something sad? I've earned more money from the two Subway videos I made about working at Subway than I did actually working at Subway for over a year. Sheesh! Here we go, Subway Part 3, baby. I still got more to say. I used to work there, in case you didn't know that. When I moved out and was all on my own for college, I was feeling a little... A lot of money! Sick. So one day I decided, hey... I'm going to get some Subway for lunch. Food that I used to almost eat every day and got for free for over a year, I was going to pay full price for. I just wanted a taste of home. I wasn't expecting to ever tell this story, but Aww. it turns out the employee making my sandwich was a huge idiot. As I was waiting in line, I noticed my favorite sandwich, the Turkey Italiano, wasn't on the menu. The Turkey Italiano, by the way, is the same as the Italian BMT, but instead of ham, you put on turkey. Very simple change. I asked the worker, did you guys have the Turkey Italiano? And he said, no. So then I asked, can I get a BMT, but instead of ham, I have turkey? And you know what he said to me? He said, no. I don't think I'm asking for too much. What? Yeah, my Subway, the BMT, and the Turkey Italiano were the same price, okay? And what do you mean, no, you can't put on turkey? Who, who's stopping you? I know for a fact that you don't count the slices of turkey at the end of the night. Just hook me up, please. I'm feeling sad. So I just got the BMT with all the vegetables because it's more food for the same amount of money and I was a poor college student. And also because screw that guy. I do hate it whenever you have those fast food employees or workers that just absolutely will not go out of the way to just help you out in the littlest, tiniest bit. I remember when I needed like extra sauce or something and I had like 35 cents. First of all, they were charging me for the sauce. But it was like 50 cents for the sauce and I only had 35 cents. And they really would not give it to me. I was like, yo, you're going to really make me eat this sandwich with dry? with no sauce just because I don't have 15 cents come on have fun trying to close that sandwich but then when he was all done he put my sandwich by the cash register and then he just started helping the next customer and oh that's he rude started making their sandwich that's just rude ring me up so I can leave and then help the next person but no I had to wait for him to finish this person's sandwich I would have grabbed it and so left nice I would have just took the sandwich and walked off I would have didn't because I'm so nice. I've realized telling you that story, it sounds like I'm one of those customers who complain about everything and say, let me talk to your manager. But really, the whole time I just stood there awkwardly. But I think I can complain a little bit. I used to work at a Subway. I know how things are supposed to work. Subway, if you're somehow watching this, you need to hire more people like me. Speaking of me, when I was working at Subway, I never liked wearing my name tag because when I was making people's sandwiches, I hated it when complete strangers would say, thanks, Jay. Ugh, that's you know? ugly. Oh, right, the name tag. <laughs> that so is I never ugly. wore my name tag. I just work at Subway, okay? We don't need to know each other on a first name basis. Just take your food. For some reason, I don't like it when strangers know my name. But now that's that's all thrown out the window. Mm -hmm. This one time a customer came in and for some reason I couldn't help but feel like I'd seen her somewhere before. Her face was so familiar, but I couldn't put my finger on it. So I made her sandwich, her. I rang her up, she <laughs> yeah. paid for it, and as she grabbed her stuff, she said, Yeah, I'm going up to my father's funeral this weekend. After my mother died, he couldn't last that long. Oh, now I need to calm down. I oh, really that's do. that's why I remember her. She came in last week telling me the same story. What? What are you supposed to say to that? Yeah, that really sucks. I'm just some underpaid sandwich artist with really bad people skills. I totally agree with him. Whenever somebody tells you like sad news or depressing news, what do you respond like? Do you just say I'm sorry or do you like relate with problems of your own or do you just keep quiet? What do you do? I think the only worst situation it will be like when somebody just starts crying on you and you're just like, Yikes! <laughs> no, but seriously, yeah, if you're ever around me, please don't put me in an awkward situation because 
I'm most likely gonna either just stay quiet or run. <laughs> Did she really not have anyone else to talk to? That just makes it extra sad. I ended up giving her a free cookie. I'm just kidding. No, Luckily, my coworker Corey heard this and he talked to her and he was very nice. Corey's a lot better at being nice to people. One time I was closing the store, I turned off the open sign and I was opening the front door to bring in a table and chair from outside. But while I was bringing in the table, these two old guys got out of their car and asked, are you guys closed? Yep. <laughs> what I would have said if I wasn't so nice. Instead Aww. I said, ugh. Fine. Even nice guys finish last. 10, I let them order their sandwiches. When they came in, the 16-year-old girl I was working with was not happy. They started apologizing for coming in so late. Oh, I didn't realize places in Arizona close so early. Blah, blah, blah. We're vampires. And I said, ah, it's whatever. Just order your sandwiches. And then he said, can I have three salads? And oh I Oh my gosh. <laughs> but he didn't laugh. Oh, you're being serious. I let you in past closing and you Your want three salads? salads? Do you know how many dirty dishes that'll make? As I was making this guy's three salads and 16 year old girl was making the other guy's two foot long sandwiches, a third guy not associated oh with the Oh my gosh. In. Guess he didn't see the open sign not illuminated. No. I finished helping the two old guys and then I started helping the third guy and he asked, what time do you guys close? 15 minutes ago. But after everything was said and done, the two old guys tipped us $5 and the third guy tipped us $1. So I mean, between me and the 16 year old girl, a $3 tip ain't so bad. I actually heard from one of my old coworkers that the husband and wife owners of my old Suabway watched my two other Suabway videos. So they might be watching this one. And I just wanted to say that by letting those three guys in, I showed initiative and was looking out for customer satisfaction. Yeah, I wonder how they how they feel about him being so big and being the other one now, being like this huge, massive YouTuber. And he, he worked at third place. He was employed under them they were his boss and now like he's this international cartoonist dude like that's crazy that's quite a story yeah one time i brought a laser pointer into work because i knew i'd be bored and i was except the boy i was working with was shining it outside at the cars driving by and i told him not to do that because it's probably stupid illegal and really dangerous that's later i was stupid. going to clean the bathrooms i saw the laser pointer on the counter and i said hey dude while i'm cleaning the bathrooms don't shine the laser pointer at the cars. I told him that. When I was all finished cleaning though, I saw him sitting by the window just shining the laser at the cars. At first I wanted to go up to him and say, dude, stop. But then the other part of me thought, I'm not this kid's dad. I told him to stop twice and he didn't listen. Whatever happens is his problem. He ended up getting fired. Yeah, lady came in and said, let me talk to your manager. And I said, oh, uh, idiots. I can give you her phone number. And boom, he, he got fired. I know I'm the one who brought in the laser pointer, but I don't really blame myself for him losing his job. That was a stupid thing for you to do, kid. Once again, I was the good employee. I mean, I didn't show that much initiative that time, though. So before I worked at Suabway, I liked to go to this taco place and get the same thing every time, the carne asada fries. Later, I learned that the carne asada fries are 2,000 calories. That was the Ooh. only thing I ever got at this taco place. And I used to be super self-conscious thinking man these employees must think i'm 2, so coming in getting the same thing over and over but then when i worked at Suaboy, i learned ha, nope fast food employees don't care about you or your order unless you're mean to them or tell them that you're going to your dad's funeral fast food employees will not remember you to one be time honest. someone came in and told me i'll have the usual and i said i've literally never seen you before in my entire life I didn't really say that. If any of you are working at a really slow subway, here are some fun games for you to play. Cut up a loaf of bread into small pieces and make a mini sandwich with one meat and three different vegetables. All right, before he tells that a uh, little cool way to, you know, entertain yourself at work, I want to give my story how I used to entertain myself at work. So I used to work at this place called BLD, uh, f baseball, big league dreams. <laughs> so what? How did I forget that? No, but it's this place in Mansfield, Texas. I used to work there, and essentially, I used to get bored at work because, well, sometimes, not often, because trust me, it was busy, but sometimes we'll have slow times and slow periods, so we'll have to entertain ourselves. And it was like this baseball park, so we, you know, sell, you know, the occasional stadium food, you know, pizza, burgers, hot dogs, fries, funnel cake fries, ice cream, chips, peanuts, you name it. So me and my friend used to make like nasty fear factor concoctions of just nasty foods whenever we were bored and we both like agreed we had to eat each other's uh, creations and whatnot. And that's how we used to entertain ourselves. It's kind of crazy to think about how we tortured ourselves to keep ourselves entertained at work. That's how bad work was. Give it to your coworker and have them eat it without looking. Then they have to guess what's on the sandwich. 
and that's it. You can set up a point system like they get one point for every ingredient they get right. Also, you can do the same game by mixing up two sodas and have them guess. You can walk into the freezer and see how long you can last. My record's an hour. You could bring in some vanilla ice cream and just make all sorts of stuff with that. You could make root beer floats. You could take two cookies and put ice cream between Ooh! them and the ice cream sandwich. 16-year-old girl made this thing. I think it was called the kazuki. You put cookie dough in a bowl and then you cooked it, but not all the way. And then you put ice cream on top of it and it was super good. You can make nachos and bread ah! rolls. And we wasted a lot of food. I still don't know why that guy didn't give me a turkey italiano. I mean, at my subway, we made bread bowls and nachos. So that was it for that video, guys, and I hope you enjoyed it. Wow, even working at a subway, you can still kind of have fun. So I guess it just goes to show you, no matter where you work, you can always have fun on the job. Well, I guess not always where you work, you know, if you work at a trash place, like I said, you're probably not having way too much fun. But I know I'm having tons of fun at my job. Being a YouTuber is pretty fun, but being a YouTuber that's still in college, it's not too hot. It's not too great because I have to balance two extremely busy lives and it's just so stressful on my brain. Oh. But don't forget to hit me with a like, subscribe, and comment on this video if you want to reply from your truly Prince Charming. My name is Prince Ahawk. Come stay charming, my friends.